Okay, so that wasn't a real challenge. Since it was just completely... Hello, and welcome back for some more Horizon Zero Dawn. In this episode, I want to continue with the Hunter's Lodge quest line. Since we're still here in Meridian. So I'm about to talk to Talana again. Thank you. There she is. This... This is a good day. It is. What's Red Moth? Few have seen it. A Thunderjaw marked by years of battle. Some say it still bears the marks of over a dozen hunters on its flank. How many it has trampled along the way, we may never know. When members go hunting and never return, we often blame Red Moth. But to me, it's more than legend. It's the only machine that will unseat a cease. My sponsor nearly had it, but he didn't make it. I'm sorry. Tarkas sponsored me out of loyalty to my family. He was my last link to them, besides the lodge itself. I have to unseat a cease. She's wearing lots of lip gloss. I know why I hate a cease. Why do you? My family has always boasted members in the Lodge. My father and brother were both Hawks. Assis let their sacrifice be forgotten. Um, what sacrifice? They died in the massacre. They should be honored as Hawks. Instead, Assis will not let anyone mention it. How did your family come to be members of the Lodge? Karja noble houses have sent sons to the Lodge for generations. Because they needed another place to lord over the commoners. I want to change that. The idea that someone is worthy or not by virtue of birth alone. Everyone thinks they have me pegged as soon as they hear Talana Khan Padish. I hate that. I understand. My whole life I lived as an outcast from Menora. They would have been the first to say I wasn't one of them. Yet as soon as I leave the sacred lands, everyone calls me Aloy of the Nora. It should be Aloy despite the Nora. <laughs> I didn't know. I'll remember that. What happened in the massacre? King Jaron's paranoia knew no bounds. He sent thousands of innocents to die in the sun ring. When the hawks of the lodge called for him to stop the slaughter, he threw them in the ring too. Yet when the machines attacked the condemned, more hawks leapt into the ring to defend them. And my father and brother were among them. I'm... I'm so sorry. That sounds horrible. What happened to the men in the sun ring? They died fighting. If you wish to hear the story, Legan can tell it better. He saw it with his own eyes. I did not. The morning of the massacre, my father told me to meet him outside the city. He told me they were planning an escape. I waited for hours until a message came from my father. I had to leave the city. So I fled when I should have fought by his side. He didn't want you to die with them. Nor would he want their names forgotten. Especially by the man who benefited most from their deaths, Assis. Who's Legan? Now that you're a thrush, you should improve your reputation. Why do you hunt down a Thunderjaw and a Stormbird? You want me to go trophy hunting? You're not just any thrush. You're mine. And you better make me look good. But what about Red Maw? I will find him. And when I do, I expect you to be there. I will, I will. Don't you worry. Okay, so kill two machines. Who is this Legan guy that I'm supposed to talk to? About the massacre. See you around. Tufana, Corduf, Ardik. Who are these people? Yeah, well. So you're a thrush too now, but you've only gotten a stalker trophy while I've already bagged a Thunderjaw. I ain't done well enough. It's probably better for you to stop now, you know, before you tackle something you can't handle. Okay. 
Maybe I should have done that more often. Scan for people to talk to. I've been waiting years to get a sponsor, and you... Tch, congratulations. Thanks. I was always rooting for you. Thank you. I don't know you, but I like your headdress. Right. Okay, I think I'm done. Who are you, Legan? Oh, yeah. Two new thrushes in one day. <coughs> Makes a hawk proud. Can you tell me what happened during the massacre? A terrible time. King Jaran purged loyal subjects and traitors alike throughout the Sundan. He even called out members of our lodge. Why? Some spoke out against the killing. And when the soldiers came for them, we all objected. For that crime, those who were not arrested were forced to watch our comrades murdered in the sunray. I shouldn't say more. Okay. Please, tell me what happened that day in the Sunring. Normally, victims of the Sunring fell within minutes as the crowd cheered, cheered their deaths. But not with our hawks. They stood alone against wave after wave of machines. Hours passed, the men taking turns fighting as the others rested. The crowd's mood turned, rallying around our men. Some of them left, their blood lost unsated. We members stayed and watched till nightfall. What happened in the sun ring at nightfall? The sun had set, and only firelight and the glow from the machines lit the ring. It was then the court released a behemoth. Several hawks at once jumped into the ring to fight alongside the condemned. They had snuck in their weapons. I wish I had as well. The machine didn't discriminate. It crashed into the stand, devastating spectator and fighter alike. It was a slaughter. How did they control these machines? And how did the battle in the sun ring come to an end? Talana's father climbed atop a behemoth and with one well-placed spear destroyed it just as a second knocked him to his death. Her brother and the others fought this second behemoth, falling one by one as they put themselves between the beast and the stands. And so we and the spectators were saved. Those who had once cheered for their deaths thanked the dying men for their very lives. What a brave end. And how terrible that no one speaks of it. I must say, I'm surprised by your achievements, bringing in a stalker already. Save your surprise. I'm just getting started. Horrible, horrible story. Again, make a Netflix show. Yeah, I think I'm just gonna walk there. And hunt down these... Machines. Not sure which one to take. Well, I can't get down there. Why does it always lead me here? It's not like this works. Does it? No, I can't get through here. It just sucks. Daybreak. Yesterday's gone. Can I get down here? Somehow? No, I don't think so. No. Okay, so what I'm gonna do is... Uh... Oh, fine. Yeah, let's just... Uh, fast travel to this one Stormbird. Okay, so we're back. And, oh, okay, I see the Stormbird already. I think I might need the rope caster for this. Where is it? That's the one.
Did I hit it? I'll tuck that away. I might try and override one of these for help. Okay, where's the Stormbird? There it is. How am I supposed to hit it though? Come on. Jesus Christ. Oh, come on. There. Okay, it just stopped moving. Is it bugged? I don't think that does any damage though and I think yeah no he's just not totally but yeah he's very buggy right now Okay, so that wasn't a real challenge <laughs> since it was just completely buggy That's a shame Could have been a fun fight Oh 
Oh, okay, nice. And I have a mount. That didn't help at all. Okay, let's go get the Thunder Jaw. Is that a stalker? I think so. I don't even know why I'm wearing this Karja armor. For tanks being against fire damage. There's not a whole lot of machines that do fire damage, right? Well, there is, uh... What's his name? Hello back. It's the only one I can think of that does fire damage. Hello. Hello. Way up there? Oh, I see it. I see it. Shit. Come on, what about that thing on the top? Those are off. How?
I know we can shoot it off. Oh, God. <coughs> what? What was that sound? Okay. Fine, we did it. Oh, what's that? Glint Hawks. Oh, nice. Oh no, it's uh these broadhead things. <sighs> well that wasn't pretty. But it never is with me in combat in this game. Just not good at it. Maybe they are getting stronger though, I don't know. Can stop tensing up. Never had that many problems with a thunder jaw. Oh don't you dare. Yes, it did. Oh no, Glintox are coming. Ah! Okay, all right, all right. I think I'll um, teleport back to Meridian and Assis. Let's see what he has to say for himself. He should be proud of me. Make way. Could you spare a moment to no. Jeez, that guy. Maybe upstairs. Maybe, but I'm no supposed to see there. Maybe Lycan knows where they are. Huh? Oh, did they find Rep Ma? That crazy Ozon tried to kill our son king until the machine rider stopped him cold. You have trophies? I can hang on to them until the Sunhawk returns. Where are Assis and Talana? Assis received word about Red Ma and rushed out. Talana found out a short time later and had to follow. They both went alone? Assis left without his thrush. Talana did as well. Oh, I saw some outlanders follow after her. I wouldn't put it past Assis to try something underhanded to get the kill. Where have they gone? I have to help if I can. Hmm, you might be right. They've gone southeast, headed for the spear shafts. You'd better hurry. I will. Oh, okay, so, hmm. Now's Redmaw time. But I need a waypoint, guys. Okay. I leveled up again. <laughs> Where do I teleport to? I guess down here is good enough. 
Oh no, is what what is that? Oh that's a stalker site. Uh, I don't need stalkers. Okay, let's teleport here. Alright, so we teleported over here, not too far from Talana and Red Maw. Possibly. I should probably stock up. Health pouch is kind of low. Yeah, but I still got a few potions. Oh, what's that? They have it down already? What is How that? Much did pay you? Oh that god. Like her. Uh oh. That's not good. Oh shit. Jesus Christ. I could really use the rattler now. I don't have it yet. Oh, come on. Ouch. That got them all. I'll be right there. Just want to loot. What does that sound? Oh, it's the um, tall neck. Oh, wow. <laughs> Don't worry, I'm not going to impale you. Not my style. Hello. How did she survive? Thank you. I should have seen this coming. Of course he would hire men to keep me from Redmaw. They died for his pride. Where is Assis now? He's gone after Redmaw. This way. Hurry! Why is Assis going after Redmaw alone? Vanity. He doesn't want to share credit for the kill with his brush. My sponsor did the same. Went after Redmaw alone out of pride. Even though he knew we needed to unseat Assis. I need more health. More medicine. Okay, what now? I'm not sure where a season red mall went from here. I can follow their tracks. Oh my god, was that a foot? Oh jeez. This way. Red Ma destroyed these trees. Why would it destroy here, trees? The Tarkas, I arrived in time to see him die from his wounds. And with my father, I didn't even get that. Where was Assis when your father passed? Watching. He became... There he is! Redmaw. Assis is holding his 
Ah. Ow. Was, was holding his own. Well, we have our work cut out for us. Come on, hit the heart. Okay, try again. That thing does a whole lot more damage than the other red maw, uh, the other thunder jaw. God. Disc launchers. I know, I know. Run, run, run. Oh, jeez. Fuck you. Come on, get that. It's off. Oh, come on. Ah, focus, focus, focus. dead Range on his freaking fucking tail. <sighs> gotcha. Where the hell?
finally. Jesus. We've taken the wind out of him. He's half done. I saw the blaze on its back. I can't really get to it. Okay, so that was a fun fight. We did it. But it was just basically a bigger thunder jaw. Wait, did I even Yeah, it's a thunder jaw. Didn't even doesn't even say red law. That's weird. Where is she? There she is. Oh. Okay. Hello there, beautiful. Hey. We make a great team. And now, you're the Sunhawk. About that. Huh? Oh. He's still alive. Talana, he's still alive. Out of the way, Nora. Filth. <sighs> You're done. The Lodge is finally free of your influence. I kept it alive in dark times. No, 
You buried it. Along with my father's memory. I should have. I should have. I should have let you fight Redmore first. To soften him up. Damn. <laughs> oh my god. Seriously? Here lies the Sunhawk of the Hunter's Lodge. It's almost a shame. After all that, you're gonna weep for him. Oh no. I just wish I could have seen his face when I succeeded him. <laughs> okay then. Meet me back at the Hunter's Lodge, if you have the time. I have a feeling the new Sunhawk wants to welcome you. <laughs> okay. <laughs> I'm sorry, but I can't help but laugh. These deaths in the in, the, in this game are just so over dramatic, and not very well written and acted out. In general, I'm sorry, but nah, it's not working for me. Okay, so let's get that, and uh, oh no, let's get that too. Oh wow, it's tail. How does that fit in my pouch or whatever? Meh. Okay, let's fast travel back to Meridian. And there we are. Make way. Hawk Bradavin Khan Padish, cherished brother, and Sunhawk Talavad Khan Padish, beloved father. Let their memory and sacrifice be a beacon for all hunters, all people, to follow. Who's she talking to? Where is she going? Hello? Oh. Look. A memorial to my father and brother, and all the men who died in the Sunring. You made this possible, Aloy. Thank you. You're would like to be Sunhawk. It feels like sunrise after a long night. <laughs> I'm in your debt. You'll always have a special home here. If you want it. Hmm. Uh, I don't know. What happens now? In the lodge? As Sunhawk, I've made sure we invite prospective members based on ability and drive, regardless of Karja blood. This lodge will be a stale bastion of the old regime no longer. What was that prayer you were saying when I first came in? I didn't hear all of it. Oh, great sun. Make treaty with the moon to give our fallen quiet rest. Burnish them with the armor of your brazen heat. Give them shafts of sunlight for spears. Illuminate the path to the skies for each one of them. Hawk Gravid Khan Morza. Hawk Sarav Khan Pir. Hawk Yusalin Khan Jagir. Hawk Kulasiv Khan Savali. Hawk Bradavin Khan Padish, cherished brother. And Sun Hawk Talavad Khan Padish, beloved father. Let their memory and sacrifice be a beacon for all hunters, all people to follow I couldn't repeat one of those names even if I wanted to well congratulations Talana I should get going thank you Aloy despite the Nora <laughs> <laughs> may you always take your prey <laughs> that was the weirdest grin <sighs> okay hmm Okay, so again, this quest didn't really end up the way I was supposed to. I um, I was hoping it to. Hmm. Not really feeling the quests these days. I hope the main storyline will pick up. Um, you know where we left off when we did the uh, 
Maker's End quest and uh, the bunker up there in the mountains. I really like those. What the hell is that? Record of Ratmaw. In time, all creatures fall, all legends fade away. Such it was with Redmaw, deadliest of thunder jaws. Okay, so it was just regular. Well, not a regular thunder jaw, but it was a thunder jaw. In the summer of the third year of the reign of the Sun King of Ad, Sun Hawk is seized, received word of a sighting, and set out after the beast. Talana, Hawk of the Lodge, went soon after, quickly followed by a thrush, Aloy of the Nora. Fearing Talana might take Redmaw first and thus supplant him, supplant him as Sun Hawk. Aziz resorted to treachery, laying a trap for the hawk. Nine mercenaries ambushed her, but aided by her thrush, Talana defeated them all. Six shot, three blasted. Hawk and thrush continued after Redmaw, arriving just as the legendary monster took Aziz out of the fight. Lash, out of, lash of tail. Working together, the two women finally defeated Redmaw in a fight for the ages. Alas, the wounds that Aziz sustained were mortal, crushed internal organs, evidence of bowel failure. And he did not live to see Talana take his place as Sunhawk. So ends the record of Ratma, most murderous of machines. He was deadly. But, um, I guess this is not a spoiler, but... Huh? When I was exploring the lands, I saw a huge, huge creature somewhere. I don't remember where it was, though. I remember that it was... You know, and it had some ice. So, uh... Yeah, I don't even know where it was. It was just so, so huge, and I've never seen it before. And I'm still missing a creature, too. I guess that would be it. But I don't remember where it was, because I didn't want to approach it when I wasn't recording. So if you... Well, maybe it's part of a quest, maybe it isn't. I guess I'll have to wait and see. Yeah. Anyway, thanks for watching, and uh, I hope I'll see you next time. Tschüss.